Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play and also welcome or welcome back to Kallen, our romantic coastal retreat island. Today, focusing on an, on an area that I've just been, I don't know, I guess avoiding, procrastinating or I guess avoiding because I'm honestly a little scared of how it'll turn out. So um, this is the area around my house. This is fully done. And last episode, we actually did some interior decorating. We uh, kind of decorated like my own upstairs apartment, I guess. And um, everything kind of, I guess, downwards from this, like, you know, according to the map downwards, is completely decorated. Like I've gone back and fixed the cliffs. I've done the filler decorating. I've pretty much done everything up until this point. And a little bit further to the left as well, like there's the farm section that is more or less decorated. There's still like open tiles here, which I also have been procrastinating. But one thing I have really been avoiding is this area right here. Um, This is supposed to be, so we have Tutu living over here and we have Flurry living over there. I did redo their houses and at first, to be honest, I wasn't really sure about them, but I think I've gotten kind of used to them. Like I feel like I've, I've looked at them enough to kind of be used to them by now. Um, and the storyline here is basically that Flurry is a baker. Like she loves to bake. So she opened her little uh, bakery and like cafe on Callan. And then Tutu um, is very much into dancing, right? And they're kind of almost like sisters. I think we kind of went with the storyline of them being, yeah, I did, they just found each other and they're kind of like sisters to each other which is kind of sweet. Um, and they kind of help each other with their dreams. Uh, and so the idea was kind of that they both started having this cafe together and then maybe Tutu will have like a ballerina studio, um, like a dance studio inside uh, where also other people can join for classes. And then over here is a, a lake pretty much. This is gonna be something for another episode, um, but yeah. The cafe I've been pretty much avoiding because I feel like this is going to be kind of an important build and I don't want to mess it up and I tend to do that when when there's builds like this I tend to just kind of be like okay I won't I just I'll do something else first you know um also we do have the entire issue of like their backyard maybe um and generally like what exactly do we want in terms of yeah, what, what items do we want uh, to be part of this cafe? Like, do we want it to be a full-blown cafe with like an outside area or uh, do we just want a couple of tables? I did kind of decide to go for these tables here, which I do think are really cute, but at the same time, they're kind of not the best just because um, I can't put stuff on the tables and there's a lot of cute food items that I love to use. So uh, I think maybe we'll have to go back in and do like a mixture of different tables, potentially. I don't know. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm here to figure out today. I think I'm not going to do too many like kitchen things outside. I think she will get more like the kitchen inside of her home. Um... It's a very small home, so I feel like combining like a kitchen with a bedroom apartment type of thing is going to be a little bit hard, but I might want to try and do that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, I can still take some like a counter table or like a checkout counter, um, a covered counter, like anything like that maybe to add a couple of, yeah, I don't know, cafe related things. And then I'll grab a few chairs. I'll grab the Moroccan footrest. I don't think the ranch chairs are going to be great with this table, but I'm still going to try and look at it. Wooden stools might work. I don't want to use the boxy stools. No, no. Um, no cushions. No, like, sofas, I don't think. And then, yeah, I mean, we can try the wooden mini table. I do have a small covered round table. I don't want them to be, like, too big, though. And then the main things, there's going to be the tables. And apart from that, I don't even know if there's going to be many other things around this. I don't want to give them like boxes or trash bags because I feel like that wouldn't be their vibe. I feel like if Flurry had a cafe, she would she would very much have it be completely clean and just cutesy and stuff. Okay, we're definitely going to take the menu chalkboard though. I have that in white, so that is going to be very important. Um, and... Maybe that's like a good start right now. I mean, boxes, like wooden boxes could work. And then I mean like 
fillers in the future, obviously. Uh, maybe some garlands, depending on what that looks like. And then uh, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of like miscellaneous things, you know, cause like, so the dessert carrier or there's the pretzels, there's the mixed fruit sandwich or the mixed fruits bagel sandwich. Like there's just a few things I would really love to give. Like, I mean, the cakes and everything, it's just, it's awesome. I really want to, oh God, I'm looking forward to the interior, I think, cause I feel like I'd be able to maybe put a couple more surfaces there. Yeah, I did roughly put down some tables, which I don't think is the worst. We are gonna have to be so careful here though with like planted things. Cause I do think having uh, having like flowers and, and a couple of weeds or something like that placed really kind of helps along with I don't know with the details and so i want to make sure that i have room for that right so option number one obviously is to have kind of a couple of those bistro tables uh or like i like i kind of picked up some other things we can also go for the covered round table maybe yeah i need something in front of their houses for their pictures that's definitely something to remember and then I mean, this close to the lake is beautiful. I wonder like if you walk here, maybe this would be a good different table. I don't know if that's the one though. Like, I don't know if the covered table is great. And then I have the counter table, but that's like a, that's like a different vibe. I feel like that might be good here, depending on the gapping. Yeah, maybe never mind. <laughs> like that's so bad. Uh, no, I don't like this. Okay. Um, counter table in front of Flurry's house is a little bit too much also. I mean, this might just be like a Moroccan foot rest. There's going to be tons of like pink with their houses uh, already. So I think I need to be careful with the amount of pink in this place. But like here is maybe a Moroccan foot rest with her picture, something like that. Did I bring, oh yeah, I brought a couple of chairs and stuff. And then I only brought the mini table. The Moroccan tray table might also work. It's all kind of, it's all kind of with a bunch of question marks. The annoying thing about the bistro tables is the spacing when it comes to the chairs, because looking at it, we kind of have to probably place them somewhat like this, because looking at them next to it, the spacing is terrible. Like it's so far away. If you sit on a chair like that, like you couldn't even reach the table. <laughs> you could not even reach the table. Um. See, because that's like, that's a distance. That's, that's the spacing that we're working with here. Not so great. It's not so great. Mm, no, range chair, I just tried. Oh my god, stop. Stop, just stop. <laughs> ah! Alright, well, bistro table. Got it. I twist them all in like a different direction. It is kind of cute. Maybe we can kind of cheat the system a little bit. By just placing like some food items on like some stools around it. Like maybe that works. And then maybe we'll go and put like one stool here. And then another one kind of like halfway behind it again. And then that might kind of trick us with the spacing. Oh, so far away. It makes me want to cry a little bit. Like it makes me legit want to cry a little bit. Um. I think like halfway in front is really not that bad. Uh, can I just maybe see what this one is? See, that's why I've been avoiding this area. Oh gosh. It's like you have this, you have this image in your mind, but things are just not gonna work out exactly that way. Yeah, you know, I'd wanna look for different tables after all. Hmm. Uh, what about the generic like garden tables? I don't think I have any of them. I my I mean I can the iron garden table can work. Um yeah, the Moroccan tray table I want to try. And then what is the other one called? Like natural garden table or something? That one comes in like a shabby customization, but it's like with silver. I'm not really the biggest fan of silver usually. 
uh, but maybe that could fit the kind of coastal vibe, you know, like the salty air has made it like look shabby or something. Okay, I know that that is one of those very basic DIYs that you get, but knowing my luck, I probably don't even have that one. I do! Oh my god, I do. Okay, wait, we're gonna try this one. See, this is the one I mean. Natural square table. I need hardwood and iron nuggets. Okay, I can do that. Hardwood and iron nuggets. I might still have some customization kits with me, and I think I have my workbench with me also. So we're gonna try it. Because, like, I mean, surfaces, right? Surfaces. Uh, iron nuggets? I already forgot. I think iron nuggets. Okay. And then we have a DIY workbench. There we go. Oh my god, nope. <laughs> that is that is not how intended to place that, but sure. You come with me and I'll place you next to the sword shed. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's craft one of those square tables because I want to see that in action. There we go. And I'm also going to customize this one. And then I would still probably go for like eclectic chairs, like different footrests or simple stools, wooden stools. Uh, Cause I, I I think that just, it's just so cute. It's just so cute, you know? Yeah, this one. Mm-hmm. I don't know, especially cause if you play something on it, you don't really see the wooden planks anymore, but you see the, the lower part again, uh, still. All right. Also, you know what? This could this could this could use some more trees to be fair. Okay, natural square table. It's kind of not the worst, but it's not the best either. The bistro tables with like their umbrellas are just very very pretty from this perspective here. So I'm wondering if like I should keep at least like one or two here. The spacing is still absolutely horrendous. Cause like, let's say I place the Moroccan footrest here. You know? Um, but yeah, who knows? I mean, if I, if I place a tree right there, that's going to be the same line? No, that's not going to be the same line as the cedar tree. That's good. That could be a coconut tree. Although I guess the tree would also look uh, kind of nice here, right? Yeah, maybe the coconut tree there and then maybe this is like another small one. And so we just kind of try to cover any gaps that you see with like wheat fields, flowers, other things to kind of counteract this. Okay, and then we're working with like a half tile here. Hold on. I was just thinking, maybe this tree here, hold on, needs to be here instead. Just like a small one, right? And then we're ha gonna have like another one here. I know like sometimes I overdo it with the trees, but they can really help in bringing an area together, I think. I think I might want to try, I might want to try that and then adjust, adjust the tables like accordingly. So I have a green large young tree with me, which is not at all what I need. Um, <laughs> I will need like a, like a medium young hardwood, uh, but I do think we're going to go for pear trees. I did get rid of my tree custom designs. You know, the, the ones that kind of help me judge uh, and determine when to stunt which tree. I got rid of that because I uh, got interior custom design codes. So yay. Um, so I have to I have to actually remember that. I have to try and use my brain for this now. This is this is hard. This is very hard. Okay, I will plant a coconut tree and I will let that one fully grow. That one will be here. There we go. This one will be a fully grown coconut tree. And then this one here will be a second stage hardwood tree or like a third stage if we pull this here over kind of like this i'll have to see that it does not on like a half tile i think this is this is okay and then maybe it's like a third stage so it covers a bit more should that be a pink one even 
And then this here to the front is like a second stage in a in a in a green in a green. Okay, so this stays the same, second stage. And then you will be a pink one. I'll have to get a sapling for that. Okay, I've got saplings. Sapling goes here. So fully grown third day, second day. And then th those will be stunted and we'll try and yeah, work work around that pretty much. You might just go here. You know? Or I'll probably switch this one in terms of its color. This will be the pink one. There we go. Maybe. Ish. <laughs> and then you might be another uh, white one. There we go. Maybe just relatively like solitary tables. Just to enjoy like the cup of cup of tea or, or coffee or whatever. Tea, coffee, a book. Uh, let's twist it this way around and you twist that way around maybe. Even if like the, the coffee and the book is like very far away from that stool, but you know, um, we could, we could have, we could have uh, one, one stool here. I know I've said like we could like so many times now. I'm so sorry. But we could. <laughs> yeah, I might have to go with another Moroccan footrest, and maybe I'll stick with the Moroccan footrest on this side. And then I think this one will be a pink one. No, this one will be a white one. This will be the pink one. Let's switch those. So this will be... Nope. This will be a white one. And this will be a pink one. Is it better if it's twisted this way? No, then they're just both very far away. <laughs> okay, and then this wooden stool in the back will also be a Moroccan footrest. And maybe this here will just not be... That one will just not be a bistro table. That will be something else. I wonder if this with the tablecloth could be cute. Or the Moroccan tray table. I think it's called. Okay, uh, customize this, and then maybe let's put. Um, I'm a. I'm definitely a sucker. Oh wait, uh, this could also be blue or pink. I am a sucker for the like checkered tablecloth. Maybe. Like this one here is very cute. Larry might go for the softer one. To be fair. Ooh, or this one is very pretty. Hmm. Well, we might go for the softer one. Let's go for this one. Okay, there we go. And now let's see what that looks like. So if that is placed somewhere over here, we need we need to have more trees. I don't think more like here necessarily, unless maybe one right. Hold on. On this line. Like a small one. Maybe another small green one. I do think we are going to need one like here though. Here or further back. Maybe here. Oh, there's a random rock still here from the rock spawning. Oh yeah, maybe there. And then... There. Mm hmm. Let's think what trees we want. Okay, we'll put a pink one here. Pink third stage, probably. This one I think will just be like a green second stage, also, just to have a little bit more going on right there. This one I think should be a cedar tree. And then, well, that's a that's a coconut, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Maybe the coconut will also just move. I think we might need just one more. And we're like here. Or there. I might have to look at that. 
once it's it's all kind of coming together. And then we'll place like this table if we use it or just like any other, like halfway behind the tree somewhat. I like round tables. I don't know why. I think the round table is actually quite working, working out. I'm all covered. No. Um, didn't I bring the Moroccan tray table? There we go. I did. I might like that one. And then we'll do two more setups with this over here and then that's it. Yeah. Okay, I will get a cedar sapling and we'll start by growing in the trees because then we can see the area kind of come together a bit more with the with the gapping and the spacing. And then after that, I think I'll add some codes underneath the table setups and we'll check out if that's what we want. Okay, so let's go um, two days into the future, I would say. Okay, let's see if I remember what to stunt. <laughs> Um, first of all, I'll get some I'll get some saplings uh, or some 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 fruit to make saplings. That's yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, peaches. There we go. All right, this is supposed to stay that way. So this one will get a sapling right away. That one was one more day, right? Yeah, coconut tree fully grown. You, I will stunt. And then I think that like little hardwood tree back here. Oh God, it's so windy today. I kind of like windy because it looks good. And like, you know, if you've got like a windmill like this, but the other day I was decorating and there was like a lot of wind. There was a waterfall, there was a cricket and there was like balloons flying by. It was like very, very overstimulating. So I feel like I don't love it. I don't love it that much anymore. Okay. And um, yeah, one more day for the third stage trees. Let's go. And third day, here we are. I remember this needed to be stunted. I think I'll just maybe combine these two saplings. I think that'll work. If I put it like there, right? Yeah, that should stunt them both. Um, alrighty, the cedar tree was stunted. The coconut tree doesn't need to be stunted and the hardwood needs to be stunted. Okay, there we go. I was like, not sure that was gonna work, but there we go. Okay, um, right. And now only the this coconut will grow taller. I think this is actually kind of helping already. Just, you know, with the with the tables nestled into, into the trees that are there, we could go ahead and also push this one back. Oh, half a tile? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then let me see, because I mean, this must also be on a half a tile then. All right, if I plant something here now, that'll work. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, perfect. And then you will also be pushed back and then I could put like a flower there as well. Yeah, and then I think we'll put something here. Like, I mean, you can also place not a table. Um, we can also place like another stool there. I feel like from this perspective, that's a little bit better. And then this could be something planted, no? Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll do that then. Maybe we'll do that then. Should that be just another Moroccan footrest, like a white one? There's really only the white one and the... um pink one, right? I don't think I like any of the others. Yeah, and then this could be like a food item, you know? Okay, let's figure out some codes underneath. Now, the issue here, once again, I don't want to cover too many things, too many tiles where you could also plan something. Um... I'll definitely put code underneath this here though. Like that'll for sure have maybe the stone or should we go with this to make it more coastal? We can maybe go with this here and we can also work with the broken off tile and kind of, I think, they, I think that'll help it. You know, cause like this now could just be two of the broken off tiles and then and just put like more of those underneath the bottom part as well 
Or would it even work with this one? I don't know. I think it might because you plant you plant something in front of it and that kind of hides any any corners or any gaps that you've got, but I kind of don't want to risk it. So we'll kind of just go with this here. Broken off tile and then we'll put the Moroccan footrest back. There we go. And then shall I also customize the bistro table? And should I use the very same pattern that I've used by my house? Because I quite like that. That was the stripey one. I don't know if you remember um, or if you've seen that before. Um, but that was like a stripey kind of design. And it looked very pretty on these tables. Uh, I'll just kind of run there and kind of show you quickly and look at my look at it myself. Yeah, so this is the pattern that I used before. Oh, look at T-Bone. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Because if you go from here... Oh yeah, I've taken one of them away. Never mind. I was kind of like, where, where is it? <laughs> Can't see it. It's hidden behind the trees, but no, no. It was just... It was just in my pockets. Okay. Um, Because, okay, we got ivory. We got navy blue. There is also a pink version. I don't want to overdo it in this part with pink, though. I I mean, Flurry would love pink, you know, and I do think she would use it around her cafe quite a bit. Um, maybe. But I don't want to overdo it either, so... Okay, we'll try this. And then I think I had the book and plant and stuff twisted this way around. Mm-hmm. And then you probably also get the same tile code, like here. Ooh, is that a half tile? Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, that'll just move backwards then. Okay, that's better. Right, and you here also, uh, bottom and top, there we go. And then I think this was a Moroccan footrest. So that'll just get a little tile code, and then this over here will also get one. I don't know if I have enough foot rest for this, but we'll see. Codes? Codes are it. Like, I'm so scared. I want to do an island in the future where I don't use any codes at all. I'm so scared of that one. Because codes are just it. They help, like, so much uh i sometimes forget and then I'll, I'll put i'll put like codes in like just underneath tables and i'm like oh that's what what it's supposed to look like like just having these few broken tiles i honestly think that really changes everything all right and then i guess i could kind of have it this way around then they're both like rotated in a different way again this is kind of what i have by my house i believe yeah. Or I can also uh, twist them both the same way around, which I think this is kind of. Also works for me. Actually, wait, I'm going to have to go for this, though. OK, I have just enough, at least for this area. That's good. I'm going to have to order new ones after this. But at least for this, for this little part, there's still there's still enough. Uh, now, do I put the pink one to the front again? Or do I put the pink one to the back maybe this time? Uh, maybe to the back so it's just not the it's not the exact same way around. Oh wait, that's not going to be enough. There we go. And Moroccan footrest. Yes. All right. And then I will for sure need a tree like somewhere behind Flurry's house. So either this tile or one to the left. I think that tile might be cute. And probably something quite covering also. Maybe like a cedar tree. A fully, fully grown cedar tree here. And then we'll use some weed fields around her house. Uh, so I need a code on this tile, I think? Question mark? Mm-hmm. All right. I think this is kind of good. Um, I can... Can I plant something here? I never know about the tiles. Oh, that is not so good. That is not so good. I can literally not plant anything here. Oh no, the gapping will be horrible. Okay, I need an item in front of Flurry's house then. Like, for sure. 
Uh, what about the checkout counter? No, I'm like halfway in front of her house. I know that that works. There we go. You know? With like a flower planted here at least. How close can I place something there? Oh, I actually can. Oh, I can plant. I can put something there. Not closer, but here. Hmm. Oh, a leaf pile, maybe. No! Animal Crossing is so fun. It's so fun. All right. Um, I need, I need, I need, I need the planks on the left. Yes. And then I will, yeah, I'll put some green leaves here and I'll try a leaf pile. Because the wooden stool, I think there's too much distance there. But the leaf pile might work out. And then I actually want to see if I can get like a little uh, cash register going. Because maybe, you know those cafes where like there's tables everywhere and then they kind of... There's like service to your table, but like there's this one setup counter where like they do the the orders and the receipts and stuff. It, it's like every single cafe ever. Um, but maybe that that is kind of what this is, you know. And then and then I can I can pass it all off as like realistic and cute. Yeah. Well, I could have gotten the uh, wheat fields with me also. You know, so. Kind of like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> I think that's okay. And then see, this is going to be like, okay, I only have, I have nothing. I was going to say, I only have a shrub. It's like a nursery. That's not even going to show anything. And then this is a flower, you know, this is a flower. And then the part behind this is going to be a shrub. You know, why don't I just put, why don't I just put the hydrangea nursery here? Why not? Then it's out of my pockets, you know? Yeah. And then wheat fields behind that, and then entire gap thing is completely taken care of. I do love that. Um, okay, so option number one, this will be the the checkout counter thing with wherever I where wherever where <laughs> oh there we go the cash register. <sighs> okay. Not my favorite. It might just it might, maybe just a wooden box. Maybe it's just the checkout counter that I don't like. Uh, or this is going to be. Or this is going to be the menu. Uh, menu chalkboard. That's what it's called. Not quite as covering. Yeah, I think this has to be somewhere else. This has to be somewhere else. Uh, maybe more towards the front. Like here. Menu chalkboard. Where is the mole cricket? I've like almost placed weeds everywhere. Oh yeah, it must be on the left. Oh, it's like right there. Yeah, that was the tile. The one tile that was left uncovered. <laughs> and that is why we cover everything. Mm hmm. I still don't know what to do on this side because I just feel like it is too... Oh, I didn't try this one yet. Because I feel like this one is like too, too much maybe because all this is like this very subtle like wooden color. Okay, just for science. Just for science reasons. What if this is the bistro table? Why do I kind of like it? I've tried so hard to do like different things because I thought I hated it. And now I feel like I kind of like it. What do I do here though? Do I just put like another tree in or tree stump? Or do I just leave that open? I still kind of like the idea of the ch the counter thing. 
Oh, maybe I like it better here. Maybe it was like something else there. Okay, are we are we on half tiles here? No. Okay, perfect. Maybe we'll just kind of place it like this. Don't know about that round cover table, but something like that. Is there anything higher, like taller? And then this here could be a tree. Or this. Small pink tree. Here. Something, something here. Um. Oh, could kind of like pretend as though it was something taller with the cash register there and then like a smaller item on the front part. Ooh, I feel like the commentary today is I'm just a lot. I'm just I'm just questioning a lot of things and I apologize for that. <laughs> but um, yeah. It's Animal Crossing decorating. What, what 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 can I say? You know, uh, like we're gonna put down a crepe and cupcakes. These fruit top pancakes look amazing. Um, and then I want to see if I've got anything else that I can put by Flurry's house, such as um, a wooden box, maybe. Maybe she got like a flower delivery. I don't think that's shipped in boxes, <laughs> but we can just pretend, okay? We can just pretend for our sake. Uh, and I have some wooden stools with me still. But I could also use simple stools for like their pictures, but maybe they both have like wooden stools. One in like white and one in pink or something. So we'll plop a wooden stool. wooden stool. I've only got the one. I thought I had two with me. Oh, and uh, here we go. And then this will just be, you know, like the crepe. Huh? I don't know if I like the counter. And then here's the wooden box. Yeah, I don't think I like the wooden box either. Dang it. I thought that was going to be it. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's go and fix up this here. So I know, I know, uh, you know, at least this is put in place for the future. We're also going to do a little circle. Yeah. We're going to do a little circle of the broken tiles. There we go. That's better. Yep. All right. Maybe wooden box is also weird because the farm is like right there. So it's kind of like, why is there a wooden box, you know? What other things could I put there? Or should I try the small covered round table where Flurry's house is? Like where the wooden box is currently? And then this is the checkout counter and then something else in front of that, you know? With the antique cash register. I think that's kind of not the worst idea. This goes here. Uh, nope. My fault. My bad. <laughs> Could have, could have thought about that. Okay, anti-crash cash register. And then this here is the covered round table. There we go. Potentially with a print. And a cake on it. Better. Question mark? I think better. I actually think kind of better. Okay. Great. Good job. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah, this is better. Okay, this is better. I I I'm starting I'm starting to get there. I'm starting to like it. I will I will have you know, I'm starting to like it. I need another Moroccan footrest. I need another wooden stool and I want to grab a cake or something. Not sure if I want to grab something as big as this. But I got a few different options that fit the color scheme, so... Okay, so first things first... Moroccan footrest will go here. Um, There we go. That'll go here. 
Okay, and then here's a couple of cake options. Cake number one, wedding cake. Wow. No, I think this is too, like, too perfect. I think she has more of this, like, homemade vibe. I don't know if I think that's cute or if it creeps me out, <laughs> but I think that's better than the wedding cake. Uh, and then wedding cake, a birthday cake, is very red. Okay. Uh, and what else did I bring? Hmm. It might be the homemade one. Might be the, the cute slash creepy cat or whatever that is. I think it's a cat, right? Or a hamster? Is it supposed to be like a hamster? Okay, and then we're going to put some shells and some leaves here. Nope. Some leaves here, please. Yep. And then maybe this will be like white with a blueprint and the other will be like a pink with a white print or just pink without any. Let's customize. Last course of action for today, I think. Uh, we're going to go for, oh yeah, bistro table needs to be the stripey design. That's set in stone for sure. So mm -mm, this one, perfect. Customize. God, I'm, I'm like... I had, I think, two entire stacks of customization kits, and then I was doing interior decorating, so I worked on a bunch of the uh, glow-in-the-dark stickers. Uh, maybe something more subtly blue. And then, like, now all of this customization stuff, and I'm, like, down to just 18 customization kits at this point. <laughs> okay, wooden stool. And then wooden stool. Oh, birthday cake. Let's look at these. Oh, okay, we could also have it not, like, pink. We could have it white, but then there's still the strawberries. I feel like they kind of throw me off. Strawberries do not fit the vibe. They're great, and I love them, but they're not they're, they're not the vibe on this island, apparently. Yeah, and then maybe we'll try it with this custom design? Let's see. I don't know if I like the pink wooden stool, but yeah. All right, we should be able to put everything in now. Bistro table is up here with the coffee twisted this way around. Perfect. Uh, you will also get some custom designs before I place you down. We're gonna do, we're gonna do some flowers and also some leaves. And then this'll be the, this'll be the white one with blue, yes. All right. Um, and then I'll drop the pre, cause this present is still for, Still for Tutu. I still have not worked on the villager pictures, and at this point, I'm not sure I will actually like succeed in in getting them, because I think like I would really have to. What do you mean? I would really have to like grind to get those pictures. But yeah. Okay, maybe I'll change that to be blue or white instead. But that's fine. Alrighty. Alrighty, Rue. Um, starting to get somewhere though. It's always hard to think we'll ever get to this point, but I, th I think it's starting to get places. Okay, I'm gonna put some blue flowers and leaf coats and then also place down, uh, place the menu chalkboard back down and then maybe I should finally take care of custom designs under this also. I didn't have a crack coat on this island, right? I've been asking that like every every episode, I think. Uh, and I still don't. And I don't have any more room either. So this will get a lovely little flower wreath instead. Oh, or some dirt. Maybe just a dirt coat. Yeah, this will just get some dirt. <laughs> okay, dirt coat. There we go. And then you will just get some leaves, I think. I don't want to overdo it here with the very exciting custom design. So you will just get a couple of leaves like this. Perfect. And then you are pulled back. I'll place you back down. Fishing spot goes there. Okay. Um, and then I think I'm going to do a quick time travel to get this cedar tree. No, this hardwood tree to be grown a little bit and also the cedar tree in the back to be grown the coconut tree and i'll also just grab those two weed fields that i i wanted to put in so that they're already put in place for next time uh and then that might be it 
And I feel like I was very scared at this part and I'm still not sure it's 100% coming together, but it kind of is. So I uh, I think that's good. Yeah, just custom designs, a couple of things around the houses, and suddenly an area is starting to look like an actual area. Weed field number one and weed field number two. There we go. And then I will do the time traveling and then I'll show you the kind of final result. It's not final yet, but you know what I mean. And here we are. Oh my God, look. See, I feel like that works better already with the trees. This clearly indicates that you can get some cake and stuff here. We've got the, you know, honestly, these are pretty much put exactly the same way I had them at the very start, aren't they? <laughs> I did so much shifting around and for what, you know? Oh, hi, Flurry. Hi, Flurry. It's cute though. I think you could probably get like a cute shot of this area also if you tried. Okay, I need to go like here probably. I like the different trees. I'm actually, I worried that the hardwood, oh, hi, Flurry. <laughs> I worried that the hardwood tree in front of Flurry's house would be too much, but I think it works. Like that pink one, you know? Oh, wow, my camera's having issue focusing. I mean, I get it. <laughs> this area is definitely very, very pink and white, but I think it fits Flurry and Tutu, and we can still bring in a couple more of the blue vibes with like flowers. So I think that that is okay. Um. I might want to place more food onto this Moroccan footrest. Technically, we could place another tiny tree like here. How about another coconut? I'm sorry, I this was supposed to be the end. It is, it is. We're gonna do this time traveling some other time, but maybe this is gonna be like a third stage coconut. I think um, kind of like the one by Flurry's house, you know? I think that could work. It kind of cage the house in nicely, not obstruct the view too much though, but kind of, yeah, enough, I guess. And I think with that, we will call it a day for now. We will, of course, continue this in the future. I'll definitely be able, or I'll definitely be sure to fill all of the open tiles here. I need to think about if there needs to be like another tree here or like a tree stump or something. But um, yeah, meanwhile, you can sit here, enjoy your coffee or tea or book or whatever, your cake probably. And I will say thank you so much, everyone, for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed the episode. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Um, we'll see what we work on. It'll probably be in the New Year's. Um, if you are watching this, I think Christmas has already passed, but Happy New Year's. I hope you all have a fantastic start to your, uh, to your 2024. And um, I will hopefully see you next year as well. Thank you so, so much for all the support this year. And um, yeah, I hope you have an awesome time until I see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.